So one thing we're going to build this year is something for my zombie family to look at. So I've got an old LCD monitor here, not full HD. And I found this pretty useful instructable living portrait scare using a Raspberry Pi. Very nicely written. Um, this guy puts his in a frame, makes it look like a picture. I'm going to build instead a basically a TV set, an old fashioned wooden TV set. So I've taken this out of its, uh, off its stand. I found this lid, which kind of looks about the right size to make something. If I spray this black and cut out, you know, this section and then put the whole thing in a wooden box, I think that could look like an old fashioned TV. I 3D printed a few bits and pieces as well. Got a bit of a great thing here. I can put some, put a knob on there. Uh, made some bigger knobs I can put for tuning or something, or maybe that, I don't know. They don't look very good. Um, I can improve on those. And then uh, it's all based around a Raspberry Pi. This is a Pi 4. You can use a Pi 3 as well. It's got a PIR sensor for this one. I've also got a camera on it. So one thing I might do is actually just randomly switch the camera on and put the people who are looking at it up on the screen don't know the first stage get the pie going which is what i've done now and then you just run a little python script this is playing a video file gets triggered by the pir and off it goes here they come and there's some audio the speakers in the tv uh, the lcd panel are pretty crappy so maybe i'll put better ones in but i don't think they need to be that big so we're going to measure up the screen. Um, you see, this is a—it's quite a chunky one. It's an old, older screen. I've had this a long time. Um, so if I get a cutout, that's going to be about 18 inches by—I don't know. Let's call it 11. Keep things easy. Centered around this thing, then you know we don't really too care too much about these edges, but it will cover this up. So I need to mark this up 18 by 11. Cut it out and then start building a wooden box around it along with some room for my uh, extra uh, grill etc so just marking this up put some tape down um i don't, I don't want it a square cut out i want to try and curve it a little bit so what i what i'm doing is the outside actually mirrors this inside curve so i've just got myself a um, a caliper and i'm basically running it along the edge the outside whilst pushing down into the masking tape and basically tracing what then appears to be a curved line uh, and then I'm just going over it uh, with a pen and you see where it actually is in a straight line it, it does curve off I've also marked up the centers of both um, the left and right and the and the top and bottom so between them I can now make a sort of shape and then uh, cut it out. Not 100% sure what to cut it out with. You could use drill base nibbler or um, maybe just a knife even. Um, jigsaw, all sorts of saws. I think I'll probably try it with a knife and then maybe move on to a jigsaw once it's cut out. Okay, so it wasn't too tricky to cut out. Actually used a jigsaw. Um, it's not perfect little nick out of it here and there but hey it's going to be a tv to what be watched by a zombie family like does it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter you see it covers most of the screen covers the edges i quite like it in white but i don't know i ain't going to paint it just yet i'm going to build the box next basic layout's going to go like this with the things at the side so i've got to make a, a top bar a top piece rather and the bottom piece so they're going to be the width of this thing plus a bit more for these controls i want to try and chamfer them in the corners here are the pieces cut ready to go managed to uh chamfer the corners using a table saw so uh, they should fit together as a nice box just need to cut some wooden pieces together now and uh screw and glue it together Okay, so I've made a very simple wooden box out of some board I had laying around and um, just glued and nailed the thing together. The mitres are not amazing, but it doesn't really matter. It's for zombies to watch TV on. Um, here's the um, 
surround, which I spray painted a matte black to start with. I can paint it any time, any color I want. So now I need, there's this gaps in the corners. So I'm gonna to need to build basically a frame that goes all the way around for this to sit on. And then I'll be able to put a side panel for the knobs and buttons and things. And then before I do it, I'm just gonna quickly sand this off so it's not all rough. And then I can put a coat of brown varnish on this. And then the, uh, the surround piece, I'll probably just paint black to match. Okay, so <clears throat> glued up all the surround, add an extra piece here, added a flat plate. Okay, so the surround, I've just tried painting it with a black paint to start with. Made a couple of legs as well, because the thing's got to sit, up, sit upright. These are just offcuts of some one by one or something like from a something or other. Let's put those underneath so we can actually start seeing what it looks like and glue the front section and some of the trim pieces on. So before I look to glue this in, notice that there's little plastic bits that stick up. Those are going to limit how close I can get that screen to this thing. So I'm just going to go around with a with a knife and a cutter, just get those as flat as I can so that I can get the screen as close as I can to this surround. So now looking at getting the screen in the box, you can see that it, I really want it sort of as flush as I can with this so that I can get the plastic on the top. Uh, there's a little lip on this end, just see it hooking on. This end there isn't, however, I don't really want to cut this end because it's going to make the Make the screen much further up this way. I want it, if anything, drop that way. So I'm going to cut out on this bottom rail about eight millimeters or so. It should allow the screen to sit more or less flush on the lip this end. And then this end I'll build a little bracket to retain it. Okay, so I've cut down the bottom piece to size. Uh, Realise I can't actually rest it on this lip because of these, the on-screen display buttons are going to be permanently pushed if I put it up against here, which is going to be a bit of a pain. I might need to actually get to them. So uh, instead, I think I'm going to have to mount it either using these screws here, which were for the original stand, or even from these uh, visa mount points on the back. So maybe build a, a column going up in the center of the thing and then have a, a bracket connects and holds the monitor sort of in this hole in the hole but not actually you know secured to the hole okay so I've made a got a piece of uh, this is um, really stiff board it's a uh, cabinet I think and it's a 75 millimeter hole pattern for this particular monitor they're all going to be different it's going to bolt on the back of there and then screws will come through into this central pillar which i then need to secure it's going to be easy underneath i can screw underneath the top i didn't really want any holes in the top so i'll probably just glue some pieces and glue it in position okay so i've attached the back piece and then attached the support hopefully i've got the distance right when i slide this in position the thing should sit inside the hole and then i can secure the wooden beam okay so it's in position it's not quite as i want though because there's a gap up here which I really wanted this bit flush and then this bit's resting on this edge which is going to push these buttons so it might be that I have to simply take the monitor apart and move the buttons to somewhere else they're just on a, a flying cable so that's easy to do okay so drilled a few holes the top one there's a little grill I've made it's just fake it's nothing going to be under it I could open it up put a speaker in if I wanted to um the one thing I'm going to probably put in there if I put a camera in the Raspberry Pi camera, so that's got to fit in this hole, which it does. So that would just be glued from behind and poke out and look through here. Um, then I've got a couple of control knobs. So these are just gonna have screws come through, going to here. And then lastly, the PIR sensor, which is gonna sit in the bottom underneath here and i might put a little surround around that because my hole is kind of ugly and rough so i'm going to start hot gluing a few of these pieces in hot glue the surround and then i can set the screen in the right place so the black paint kept coming off this so i decided i'd spray it silver i'm hoping that will hide it more if it chips off uh, it needs to sit as flat as possible so what i did was basically 
hot glue some foam board off cuts all around the edges to give it more of a flat surface to sit on. Then I can put glue on those, glue on there, and it's got a wider area to be glued down. So I'm gonna hot glue it and then get the screen in. Okay, so the screen is now mounted behind. There's a little bit of a gap around there, but not a lot. And inside, you can see it's bolted top and bottom and it fills it out quite nicely. So before we put all the electronics in, I'm going to put the legs on. Simple legs, I'm going to go underneath the thing like that. So you need to drill a hole, uh, you know, somewhere around here, and then similar one the other side. Space out how far, just a couple of screws. Might not be very strong, but uh, we'll try it to start with. Okay, I've added the legs to the thing. Don't know whether I need to paint them or not yet, but it sits quite square. And it definitely looks like a TV set. So now we're going to put the electronics inside. Okay, so we plug the connectors in, power cable to the monitor, video and audio to the monitor, a little breakout here for the power supplies, try to coil the cables. For now, I've got a keyboard and mouse plugged in just to try it, but I won't in the end, of course. The PIR sits over here in the corner, I can glue that in position. And here's a little Raspberry Pi. So we're going to power it up and see uh, what it looks like. So here it is in action. It's basically triggered off the PIR, start playing the zombie loop. So here's the back of the TV set. In the interest of getting this done quickly, I want to cover the back up, but I've run out of bits of wood. So uh, I'm just going to use a piece of foam board with some plastic on. Uh, I've had to glue this piece in here because uh, my wood here was bowed like that. So um, that keeps the whole thing straight. Then I can just use a piece of foam board. I'm gonna glue some plastic to it, um, which will fill, fill the gap. And then I'll put, you know, a single kind of thumb wheel screw just to secure it for when I need to. Tuck the cables out of the way. We won't have a mouse and a keyboard and the real thing, of course. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do is put a fan in the back of the foam as well uh, because otherwise I, I don't want the monitor to overheat etc. So I'm going to start work on that now. Okay, so here's my plastic covered board. Uh, I found this is a 12 volt 80 millimeter fan. It's Panaflow, the really nice fans, really quiet. I'm going to run this on 5 volts. So I'm just going to basically uh, plug straight into the Raspberry Pi bits. So I could have plugged it into a USB plug if I'd had one, but I didn't have any free. Um, but that will be enough to keep this thing cool. Um, I've also added a couple of little side pieces. And uh, I'm not sure if I spotted it earlier, but a pair of wires from a, um umbrella stand, which uh, act as a pair of bunny ears when they're up. Tricky to do with one hand, you get the idea. So I built the thing with the option of uh, waking up on a PIR or also using a camera. And there's various different um, people produce solutions for those online. Um, in the interest of time, I've decided I'm simply going to make a standard looper. Um, and what this one does, this is a great one from Adafruit. Uh, it can you be used on any Pi. Uh, you use you put your movies on a USB stick. You get all the code uh, on your Raspberry Pi, and basically you just turn the thing on and it just works. It will play them in random order, or it will play them on a loop. Um, you can also put uh, basic um, background images in between the clips. And uh, I found it, I've used this before on different things and it's really reliable. So for now, this is what I've got on there, playing some Atmos FX videos. So there we go, completed zombie TV, complete with zombie baby on the top. Zombie family gonna be looking at the video playing on the screen. Naughty babies on the top. And I've got it on a very simple Pi looper. It just goes round and round and plays about a dozen of these Atmos FX 
um, designs. A bit dark to see around here. And I've got it going to, well, the British ones will notice what this one's, the British people. As soon as this one ends, we have a zombie test card. Just a few seconds, and then we're on to the next video. These are all Atmos FX videos, uh, either the skeletons or the zombie bands. Now, it's not very loud, and that's kind of deliberate. I'm going to have a lot of noise going on. It's more a case of uh, selling the idea, really. But I think I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out. It looks like an old-fashioned TV. It was relatively quick and easy to do. Um, and I think will stand out when I show it.